Okay, this is uh, January the 8th, 2009. Uh, this is our project we're going to be doing. It's a 1967 Ford F100, 246 cylinder. Uh, we are going to, we've already started tearing apart some of the stuff as far as the electrical harness, uh, some other bolts holding the front end clip. As you can see, the 246 cylinder is currently in it now with the three speed manual transmission. Uh, of course, we're not going to be doing anything to it cosmetically yet. This is going to be all the mechanical stuff we're going to be doing to it for the next several months, hopefully. Uh, after we get the engine, the front end clip off of it, we're going to transfer this uh, a whole front suspension assembly out of a 2004 Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor. Uh, after we uh, install this in the truck, we will be putting a... Uh, this engine right here, a 2000 model 4.6 liter that is currently sitting in a uh, 1997 uh, Ford Crown Victoria police interceptor. Uh, we will be transferring the, uh, the engine, like I said, the 4.6 liter, the electrical wiring harness, and the brake system. So we will be trying to keep a video diary of this as we make progress. Uh, from time to time and keep everybody updated on it Okay, this is the end of day one first day. We really got a good whole solid day to work on the truck And as you can see we have got the whole front clip off of it now exposing the engine and frame rails uh, a little bit of disappointing news of uh, the the 97 model of uh, brake uh, rotors and calipers I had access to will not work so I will not be able to use the Lincoln wheels like you see there I'll just have to probably use some uh, uh, regular steel wheels that I have that will work with it until I can find wheels I like better but anyway this is the progress you can see the 246 cylinders now very visible um, and of course this is the front clip uh, and as we continue with progress, I will continue to update as my students uh, continue to uh, help me with this project. And hopefully they will get some, learn some good, uh, good things from it from uh, a lot of different perspectives, hopefully. And uh, we will continue on with this. Okay, this is January the 9th, 2009, and this is our second full day of working on the truck on the 67 F100, and as you can see, we've got the engine removed now, and the transmission and all, and we've got part of the front suspension. Uh, after the kids left today, I played with the acetylene torch, had some fun doing that, and cutting all this metal off of it. Of course, as you can see, we still the bulk of the main cross member is still there so uh, this is Friday so Monday we'll have to get back to it but as you can see we've cut part of it off already and uh, when we get this out I'll have the students probably take a grinder and start grinding all this down smooth we got to get our uh, uh, trailing arms on our I-beams uh, taken loose as well as you can see right there and uh, uh, remove some of the other stuff off the firewall the old master cylinder steering column and all that wiring's got to go to make room for all the new stuff brake lines etc but uh, that's pretty much it uh, let me get a far away shot so you can see what it looks like from a distance it's uh, pretty nasty looking right now but uh, it's going to start looking better once we get through the, the uh, demolition stage here where we're tearing everything up and cutting everything off and start rebuilding stuff it will look a lot better and uh, I think it's going to be a pretty nice driving old truck, uh, mechanically speaking. Of course, it probably ain't going to look a whole lot better when we get done, but uh, we'll worry about that later. But anyway, uh, we had a little scare with the springs. We thought they might uh, pop out from under the truck when we cut them, but they didn't. They just uh, kind of bumped a little bit, and so we just finished cutting them out with a cutting torch, and it wasn't no big deal. 
So uh, we can got a few more things to take loose, a little more work with the acetylene torch still to do. But uh, that's pretty much it for today. Okay, it is uh, the morning of, uh, let's see, what's today? January the 13th, Tuesday morning. Uh, yesterday, we completed getting the rest of the front suspension out from under the truck. So we've just about got it down to the bare frame rails now. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to take some more of the uh, structure you see out of here. I don't want to take out any more metal than I possibly have to. But I may have to take some more, depending on where we have to wind up drilling our holes at, which should be right in here, when these hook onto the rest of the front end. Uh, we'll have to figure out exactly where that is. Uh, may have to do some other things because the people that I based this off of that done this to their truck bolted the front end directly up to the bottom of the frame because they wanted to lower the front end of their truck. I do not want to lower the front end of this truck simply because, first of all, I'm going to use this as a regular pickup truck, hauling things like I did before. Also, we are in rural northeast Alabama, and the roads around here are not very low rider friendly. So um, I really don't want the truck setting low. I want it to set like a truck should set at about the height at least close to the height it was before. I wouldn't mind it if it was, you know, an inch or so lower maybe, but I really want to sit close to the stock height. So anyway, as you can see, we're coming right along. Uh, still got a lot of stuff to do, though. Okay, it is, um, I think it's the 14th of January. Uh, we have got the front end setting up under the frame rails now, as you can see. Uh, we put these 4 by 4s in between the frame rail and the new front end. Now, no, that's not the way we're going to leave it. We're just using these as kind of a, a mock-up type deal to let us know about how much of a spacer we need on each side to get the truck sitting we want it and right now the truck is pretty close to sitting where we want it although I'm gonna have taller tires than what we got on now right now we just got the standard uh, 225 wheels like a Crown Vic or tires like a regular Crown Vic comes with but I don't have any 235's like this truck had on it before that'll fit a 16 inch rim so that's something I'm gonna have to get later on However, it's sitting about where we want it to when we put the 235s on it. It'll probably be sitting real close to where we want it to. And plus, uh, taking consideration after we have the engine and front end clip back on it, I think we've got it sitting pretty close to where we want it to. So what we're going to do is uh, try to locate some 4x4 channel um, some, at a scrap yard or something and cut that down to size about the same length as these wooden 4x4s put a drill a hole through them for the bolts and then um, uh, maybe get some kind of tubing steel tubing to go inside it for the bolts to run through so when we tighten it down it won't collapse that channel um, I've got an idea on how we're going to be able to make this uh, bracket that's going to that comes off this and, and bolts onto the top of the uh, frame rail and we'll talk about that in I guess in future videos of how we're going to compensate for that but anyway um, it's looking real good sitting on that front end even though it's not really sitting on it but the cherry picker is really not holding any weight we're just kind of having it hold it steady so I can uh, jack the frame up and take the wooden blocks out from under it and then we can mark our spots for our uh, holes on where they need to be at as far as where we need to cut holes out for the frame. 